Thank you. It's energizing to sit and listen and watch so many people sitting on the lawn of the U.S. Capitol standing to say that they will not be crushed. Sitting to say they won't be crushed. It's also energizing for me to be in the presence of so many Christians as I am who stand because of their faith to say it's not okay that our neighbor in China would be persecuted. I represent an organization that staffs hundreds of missionaries, Christian missionaries around the world, many of whom are working in China. For 15 years I have worked in China for religious freedom. Specifically my work is to create access to Christian community for Chinese people. As a result of my Christian faith, I know that it is not acceptable that practitioners of Falun Gong would be harassed or persecuted. Our faith in Christ impels us to love our neighbor. And so I stand here today as Christian and representing hundreds of churches, hundreds of missionaries to encourage our churches to engage in the fight against this persecution in China. The Bible makes it clear to me that the surpassing power is from God. And so I believe that even though we are afflicted in every way, we are not crushed, you and I. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are persecuted, but not forsaken. We may be struck down, but not destroyed. I stand with you today and I call myself Chinese. I call myself beaten and persecuted and struck down because when my neighbor is persecuted and beaten and struck down, I am wounded with him. So I invite and encourage you to engage the church with me. Engage the Christian church community here in the United States. Engage the Christian church community in China to say, stand with us. We too were persecuted. It is also a Christian thing to believe in truth, compassion, and forbearance. So today, I pray to my God. I pray, God, save China. God, help us to inspire others to fight against the injustice and persecution in China. God, inspire us to love our neighbor so that for no one would it be okay for no one would, be, would it be acceptable to continue in inaction while our neighbor is struck down. I pray this in Jesus Christ's name, and I encourage you to engage the church with me. Thank you very much.